The demand pump continuously delivers apomorphine to minimize motor fluctuations. This pump system allows a more precise and controlled delivery of medication, providing patients with a steady supply of apomorphine throughout the day. The demand pump is a self-filling electronic pump that has a color display and is powered by a rechargeable lithium-ion battery. The dose in milligram can be programmed for up to five different time windows and the programming is protected by a code. Delivery-specific information is stored on the pump and can be downloaded using a USB. This information is mainly used by the healthcare professionals to check the number of given boluses, the running times of the pump, or detect handling errors from patients. To prepare the demine pump, first disinfect the table and place all necessary materials on the work surface. This includes the demine pump attached to the docking station, docking station connected to the power supply, 20 ml demine reservoir, infusion set, which includes the needle and infusion line, 20 ml apomorphine vial, tape, hand and skin disinfectants, and waste box to discard used needles. Disinfect your hands and open the packaging of the sterile demine reservoir. Insert the reservoir into the pump. You will hear a click when it is correctly positioned. The pump will ask if a new reservoir has been added. Confirm this step by pressing the checkmark button. Next, the pump will run a self-test to ensure that everything works properly, which takes approximately 1 to 2 seconds. If the self-test fails, you will see a red light. Restart the pump by removing the battery and start the procedure again. Once the self-test is complete, prepare the apomorphine. Take the vial with apomorphine and remove the cap. Make sure you don't touch the top of the vial. Place the medication vial in the center of the docking station. Disinfect the top of the vial with a wipe. Confirm this step by pressing the checkmark button. Turn the pump upside down and attach the pump adapter to the top of the vial. Then turn the pump upright and place it in the docking station. Confirm this step by pressing the button. Tighten the adapter by turning it clockwise and start the filling process by pressing the checkmark button. The pump will now transfer the medication from the vial into the reservoir. This takes approximately 6 minutes. Make sure the docking station is connected to the power supply throughout this time. You can monitor the progress on the display. When the reservoir is finished filling, you will hear a beep and the display will say 100% filled. The pump will ask if you want to continue with the infusion line, so press yes. Remove the pump from the docking station, turn it horizontally and twist off the adapter and empty vial together. Now take the new unused infusion set, open the packaging Remove the cap and screw the tubing tightly onto the reservoir. Click the checkmark button to confirm the step. The pump will ask you if you want to prime the line, but this isn't necessary. Priming the line means pumping the medication through the tube until it comes out at the end to remove any air. But in this case, a dry puncture is recommended to prevent skin irritations. For catheters where the tube and the needle are separated, 
it makes sense to prime the line. The display will show yes or no, so select no to continue. Next, prepare the injection site. Possible injection site are the lower abdomen, inner thigh, inner upper arm, under the shoulder blades or in the flanks. First, disinfect the injection site. Then, hold the disinfected skin between thumb and index finger. Pick up the needle using the grip on the back. Insert the needle and remove the grip. Secure the needle and tube to the patient's skin with tape. Press the checkmark button again. To start the continuous infusion, press the start button for 3 seconds until you hear a beep. The patient can also give themselves an extra dose, also called bolus dose, by pressing the big orange button. The patient wears the pump in a carrying case throughout the day and in some cases also during the night. To stop the pump, press the stop button. Remove and discard the infusion line. Place the pump in the docking station so it can charge and put a stopper on the reservoir. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.